me little sugar buggers welcome back to the channel for a brand new episode of let's play the sims 4 100 bb challenge good morning you guys today is a spooky day one of my personal favorite holidays in a game um it looks like also delaney is kind of digging it too she wants to do a little trick-or-treat she also would like to wear a costume and have a spooky spirit did i get your name right oh my god i did i almost said wrong <laughs> did you hear me like trying to try to try to you know <laughs> catch myself um so anyways it is monday which hypothetically speaking um should be a school day but because it is spooky day i don't believe they will be attending also side note my game has literally been all over the freaking place since the update um i think i've got all my mods fixed but unfortunately i honestly don't even know at this point um i actually had delaney come out here because i do believe in the last episode we had quite the thunderstorm which resulted um in a bunch of like jewels kind of being scattered around it also um i think if i'm not mistaking i'm like do i want to send to the jeweler for refinement or do like i, I guess try that and see what happens um our our uh <laughs> basketball court got zapped so now we have to spend 650 dollars to replace it the itch you guys the literal itch to build a brand new house for this challenge is starting to overcome me i don't know what it is i'm trying to refrain until jada is a little bit older um but i can't even i can't even imagine what i would like to come up with because literally like we have 164,000 simoleons it's kind of crazy but we do have quite a while before uh jada ends up actually aging so i don't know if i'm gonna be able to hold off until then um gulliver is taking a dump but delaney is honestly just she's in a funk right now quite quite literally in a funk so we should probably go and uh, take care of that i'm gonna have her go and take a little a little shower um and benedict and maple are sleeping well actually i think maple might be awake right now but hopefully um she'll go to sleep here quite soon diving into last week's or the week before that or quite possibly the week before that video statistics we earned 1.5 thousand likes which you know what that means for freaking spins and also when i asked you guys can we get 1k spins and 10,000 views y'all came so close that you did your girl you did me so proud um for the question of the day I I didn't really have one <laughs> I'm so creative uh basically I said did you like if so drop a BB emoji in the comments and um a few of you obliged Gianna she said I love the name Maple and Benedict I also love the episode um Blair Charles said just pausing the episode real quick max out one of the skills for a toddler means max out the entire skill not go up one level I do this seriously every freaking time i made this one like i should know what it means but apparently y'all have to like set me correct because <laughs> <laughs> out the window so i'll fix cherry her potty level should be three and I'll, I'll go and correct that in a moment um i also love the fact that anna is not the only one who says literally like i literally do or it's basically or it's like anyways what other things do I say? That's going to be the question of the day. Like, what other thing do I say all the freaking time? Ooh, little Miss K. I see your baby emojis coming through. And at the end of the series, can you please go through all the kids' names? Yes, ma'am. Um, cute as Duck said. Oh, I'm so happy you like the names. <laughs> <laughs> the same my day you're always so full of joy and have an amazing humor um to be honest with you i'm not always full of joy and i don't always have an amazing humor my humor sometimes can be dark dark and dark and drab dark and drab uh, honestly and i guess i'm just happy when i'm around you guys so you know what i have you to thank for that anyway we have four spins so Let's just dive straight on in. I didn't add anything to the wheel, but I'm definitely going to do so um, next episode. Tax season. You owe 200 simoleons. Psh, not a problem, Daddy Warbucks. Not a problem. Let's spin it again. Hopefully we get something of a little substance. I get pregnant by a mermaid. I can't. I got a full household. Let's go to the next. Okay, that one didn't count. Okay, if it doesn't apply... It doesn't, it doesn't count. Um, wish for a child pass. Seriously? Come on. 100, 100 baby wheel of chance is giving me no opportunities. Find a man at the bar. All right. I guess I could technically do that. So I will be happy um, to oblige. Now, before I forget, because you know I will, uh, let's go and add that skill. Also, we have sentiments and we have uh, lifestyles now, right? Okay. So that's going to be 
here and more exciting because I wonder how Jada's going to feel about her babies moving here on out. Um, also, she's still ripped to shreds. Like, I don't think I've ever, she's like, I don't think I've ever seen her um, so cut before. Okay, so what are we going to do? We have a few things that we need to do. Honestly, nothing too crazy exciting. Um, but I wanted Kiara to come over here. And kind of harvest all of these uh, dragon fruits. We're just going to sell them all. Oh, also, I have to, like, um, subtract a measly 200 simoleons. Hopefully, though, hopefully, <laughs> I don't wipe us out because that would be something Jen would technically do. So do I do set it or add it? Okay, perfect. I actually didn't mess it up for once. Cool. All right, Kiara, come in and harvest my dragon fruits. I do kind of want to, like, maybe have, I don't know if I want to have, like, a spooky day celebration. Does she feel up to that? I mean, I guess we kind of could. It would be really nice, too, if I had, like, a place, like, a little like a little like spooky day barn to take everybody but honestly i just don't have that type of energy with this lp um so i think the very least thing i could do did that make sense maybe um is host a little spooky day party maybe invite over like you know our, our old kids <laughs> you know just kind of like reconnect a little bit um and then obviously the main goal here which i don't ever do is uh working on skills so let me just scroll through we're gonna do a spooky party um, I can set it, but I think if I do it through here, it's going to make it happen right away. And I don't want that. So let me hop on over to the, uh, calendar and we're going to add an event and then we're going to try it this way. I still don't know if I'm doing this right. Retirement home. What are all of these? Where's the spooky day party, Jennifer? There it is. 250 simoleons. Host, obviously it's the infamous Jada. Guests, we're gonna do Gulliver, Delaney, London, Cherry. Uh, we're gonna also see if we can invite Matthias, Phoenix, Vladia. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Jade, Vlad, Penelope, Forrest, Brace, Leo, Bluebell. I don't think we're gonna be able to invite all of our kids. Is there any more? I think that's all, actually. We might be missing a few. But at least we got our favorites in. Um, and I'm pretty positive this keeps us under the threshold of 15. Oh, actually, wow, we're right at 15. Caterer, let's go ahead and feel a little bougie today. Mixologi mixologist, I mean, I'm tempted, but we don't have to have that. Um, and then obviously we're going to have it at the Barnett household. And then we're going to set it for about 6 p.m right and then i kind of want it to be dark like it's a spooky day party type of a thing so we'll do that and then um i wanted jada to decorate i don't know where our decoration box is i always seem oh it's in our craft room like that makes perfect good freaking sense right <laughs> sometimes common sense isn't common you know all right put up decorations what do we have Ooh, how come there's nothing on these trimmings that's kind of weird kiara's off to school why are you off to school it is it is literally um spooky day actually you know what i think i have a mod in that overrides that or something i'm fine with it you know what honestly i hate when they're off on holidays anyway because then you don't get all that practice or not practice but the experience also i'm noticing my kids are um oh wait don't skip school don't skip school no 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 um my kids are like going out in their pajamas like there's so many weird things that are happening after this update i'm sure y'all can like relate like hard and heavy okay so we did our decorations or at least i thought we did um Maybe that didn't count, which is kind of weird. I'll take them down, and then I'm going to put them back up. <laughs> Did that count now? Like, why isn't it working? That is so bizarre to me. I had her I had her do it, but for some reason, it doesn't seem to be um, acknowledging what I'm doing. That is weird. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to stress out about it, but, like, I'm also kind of stressing out about it. Let's have her go and rummage for some decorations. I wonder if it, like, applied to anybody else. No. Weird. I might actually be having... No. Oh, my gosh. And then, like, also, side note, like... The amount of people that have been bombarding me with invites lately, too. I don't know what the heck is going on. Um, okay, so we're getting a phone call. GD reputation is everything. I know it is. That's why. Okay, it finally worked. I don't know why that worked for some reason and decorating the house didn't, but I'm cool with it. I'm good with it. Anyway, um, now what else do we need to do? Everyone's sleeping. Cherry is passed out. Let's go and check our skills a little bit just to see what we can kind of work on. Um, okay, so we've got a group project. We're going to have Delaney try to contribute. I don't really care about all that. Uh, and Imagination, um, thinking, and movement are definitely a priority right now. We're going to have her wake up, and then I'll actually have her come over here and do um, some shapes, or actually imagination. Can we do a little imagination? Uh, do we have a dollhouse? Because that would help a lot, actually. I don't know if she can play at the kitchen and earn any imagination. Where We don't have a dollhouse, or we do, but I think it's upstairs. Where's our dollhouse? Didn't we have one right here? What happened to it? 
Wait, hold on. Am I serious right now? <laughs> Where the freaking hell is our dollhouse? Okay, you know what? I'm not stressed out about it. I think I just need to grab another rabbit tablet and call it a damn day. Crisis averted. I got us a brand new cardboard dollhouse, which I don't know where the other one went. And then um, I ended up picking up another rabbit tablet. We probably have got like 45 of these easy. Just laying around in, you know, various inventories. But at this point, honestly, I don't even care. Um, Cherry needs to get a move on because I'm losing my patience with every freaking passing second. Uh, Jada, on the other hand, she is doing it some push-ups to keep that body fit um for the fiesta i kind of want to cook um maybe something uh pertaining to spooky day i don't know what i have available to me so i'm gonna go ahead and just kind of take a little gander if there's anything proprietary like i don't know spooky cookies for instance i also was thinking of maybe throwing a little buffet but honestly at this point it's just kind of like meeting up with everybody um and it's not really like that serious or that formal of a party uh i don't know why this uh stove hood cannot be replaced for whatever reason so let me just go and like drag it onto the floor I'm gonna purchase another one just so it doesn't look all freaking messed up and janky and then what else can I purchase while I'm in um, by mood I feel like I should maybe grab some like oh let's do like pumpkin carving right like that that would be fun <laughs> I'm trying to make this as y'all you can laugh okay cuz I know you are but I'm trying to make this as good of an experience for everyone as possible. And I'm losing. Can we tell? Is it a game pack or is it a... S okay, it is a... Uh, it's not a kitchen appliance, Jen. It is a uh, stuff pack. All right, so scrolling down here, we've got a couple little things. I definitely want to grab one of these little sugar and spice bowls. Like I said, um, these things have always been a kind of like a... Wait, hold on. Why am I missing a whole door now? There's some weird ish going on in this house. Like, I don't even know what the hell is happening, but I'm telling you, it ain't right. Um, so yeah, as I was saying earlier, Jada's always been one to like want to do, um, you know, uh, parties and, and things like that for her kids and just make all these little holidays like super memorable. But... I don't know. Once you hit like 30 kids, that kind of no longer becomes like your main focus, which I think we can all agree is totally understandable. Um, maybe I'll like throw up like a little, you know, just it's it's bad. It's OK. It's all right. We have one hundred and sixty four thousand dollars and she can't even <laughs> splurge for a couple. Wait, hold on a second. I know what you're thinking. Damn, Jada's cheap. She's got one hundred and sixty two thousand dollars in the bank and she can't even splurge for a couple decorations for her freaking crotch goblins. You know what? life is tough sometimes it is it really is hard and also i bought, decided to buy another arch because <laughs> i don't know where ours went you know i'm just i'm over it so kiara's getting a phone call um max said did you really tell my secrets she's shy she has no clue who max even is but of course she's gonna spill the beans and now that jada is just about done um cooking her cookies i'm sure she's probably gonna eat them all before anybody even gets here um i did want her to go and dress up a little bit so i don't know if that's something she would how exactly do we go about this? Okay, it says to participate. Click on your sim and select wear costume. All right. Well, hopefully it'll be here. Okay, cool. Um, What should we have Jada be? I kind of want her to become a villain. I don't think I've ever had her be a villain before or anything, actually, for that matter. Uh, she is calling the household oh, to clean. Enough. There's literally nobody here. I wanted her to, like, put in her, uh, put on her costume so she could at least kind of wear that around, and oh. I like it. It actually looks really good on her. She doesn't look villainous at all. It just looks like another another Monday for, for Jada Bardet. Now, we're gonna go upstairs because um, Bennett has decided to uh, decide to, to drop a little, drop a little deuce in his pants, and then um, we're all also gonna go and feed him as well which actually I don't think I think Jada misread that one I don't think he ended up pooping at all okay so this is a really fun day just kind of kicking it with Jada seeing how she does her her motherly her motherly chores um she's feeling really inspired right now she wants to make a group meal so maybe we'll do that but honestly i'm kind of feeling the vibe of wanting to study hard for everybody okay i think that's fair and then maybe off camera a little bit um working on cherry skills and meeting back with you guys a little bit more closer to when the party starts it's later and it looks like uh london is actually going to be aging up today she ended up receiving a a 
from school, which is actually pretty exciting. I was hoping it wasn't going to be Kiara because I want to keep her just a little bit longer. This girl is absolutely freaking stunning. Um, so I think before the fiesta starts, I'm going to have Jada come over here really quick and put together a little cake. I'm going to do maybe one of those really cool zombie cakes. Ooh, this is a matcha tea cake. I've never had one of those before. Um, and the reason is, is because obviously it's, it's spooky day. It's very fitting. Um, so let's go in and do that. She never even finished making, I don't know, fish tacos. So I probably will have her wrap that, that up as well. Everybody is in a literal freaking mood right now. They're just not having it. Um, I honestly don't even know how this party is going to go. I think I'm going to have poor Gulliver run upstairs and take a nap. It looks like Dinady, 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 you guys, <laughs> Dinady, um, has already, has already, uh, beat him to it. She wants a cat where she's meowing like one. Who really knows? Who really knows? Now, Kiara, on the other hand, um, she wants to go and ask Jada for a little advice because she is going through what I would like to call, um, a moment. She's having a mean streak, right? And I feel like that is probably influenced by her response to Max earlier. Um, it says text emergency. I texted somebody, but they didn't get back to me. And it's been like an hour. Should I text them again? So not only is she like a realist and she's a little snarky sometimes, she's also a little clinging, just a little bit. Um, let me see. I think, um, she would, Jada would probably suggest for her to like text a mutual friend and have them poke around. <laughs> I don't know if that was the right thing, uh, just because, yeah, she has horrible manners anyway. It's kind of perfect. Kiara is actually very responsible, which is something I've mentioned um, in the past. She does really, really lack yeah. conflict resolution empathy, um, but uh, she does actually have pretty decent emotional control. Um, being that she is also kind of sleepy and the party is going to start in about an hour and a half, I kind of want her to maybe go and try to catch a couple Z's as well. Um, when it comes down to London, she is trying very, 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 very hard to comfort her little sister Maple, who has <laughs> decided to see her prepared. So we need to have Jada wrap up this. What happened here? What is going on? Um, wrap up this spooky day cake at the very least. Put it on the table. Table, throw some candles down because you already know somebody's gonna stick their little grubby fingers in it and then I'm gonna have her run back upstairs and take care of maple this is why she's so thin because literally like every two seconds she's like up and down these stairs this house needs to be a little more compact to be a little more efficient you know what while she's doing her business let's go ahead and uh spin that wheel i already forgot we have to find a man at the bar i don't know if that's gonna happen in this episode but i promise you it will at least at some point and maybe the next episode i'm not sure um i like how it says london dislikes her new her new brother great awesome find a man at the club so we have to go to a bar and a club you know what i'm gonna scratch both of those honestly so we're back down to what now uh one or two I don't even know. Let's just spin the other wheel. Next pregnancy is triplets. I can't even do any of these. Uh, oh my god. The other one was redundant. We'll find a man at the bar. That was spin number two. Um, I can't earn money for 24 hours. So that means no harvesting or selling of the plants. No, nothing. It's fine. I can do that. That's easy. Okay. So what time is it right now? We'll have to remember. I'm going to do my last spin because the first one was tax. Second one was find the bar. Can't earn money for 24 hours. And then what's the last one going to be? Because you know what? I'm just like oh, kind of overwhelmed by all the spins, even though I asked for it. Uh, rename a child to a subscriber's suggestion. OK, so that's the secondary question of the day. Um, OK, so you guys get to pick one of our kids' names. You get to choose which child we are going to rename in the household as it stands. It can be any one of these kids. It can be. Uh, Kiara Barnett. It can be Delaney. It can be London. It can be Gulliver. Y'all have been clowning on Gulliver's name. You can change it if you want. And also we have Cherry um, and Maple and Benedict are probably going to be off the table just for the simple fact that a, suggest a subscriber already suggested those names um, like like specifically to them. But also um, I guess if they were babies, I would put them on the table. Does that make sense? Okay. So anyway, the party's about to start. I did want to have London come over here and blow out the candles really quick just because once everyone's here, I want them to be able to actually eat the cake. It looks like she's eating some garlic noodles though. And yeah, she does not like her new sibling at all. I love that mod. It's such a simple 
mod, but it really just adds so much realism. Do we end up in Fighting Forest? You know what? I don't think he was one of the kids on the list. She was never really close to Forest, but she always kind of had a liking. Um, she would like to wear a costume. And did she even blow out her freaking birthday candle? See, this is what I'm talking about by all these like really weird <laughs> glitches. Okay, so we're going to start the party. Cool. And everybody's going to get into the little costumes. She apparently... <laughs> It's a headless horseman with the pumpkin on her head. I'm gonna have her go and blow out the candles again. Hopefully this time it will work. Um, and I think Jade is still in her same outfit. I think Kiara is probably sleeping. Um, so she should she she should change into her costume here in a second. Hopefully when she gets up she will. And uh, London didn't age up because why? Board game mamas. As you guys can see, my game is being a delinquent. So we're in create a sim, doing it the old fashioned way. And uh, we're going to go and generate ourselves an aspiration for Miss London, whom, by the way, uh, looks quite interesting. So she wants to become a best selling author. And uh, yeah, you know what? I really had high hopes for her. And it's not that she looks bad now. That's not what I'm saying. OK, I'm just simply I'm just simply saying, you know, <laughs> Ish, don't add up. This is literally the saddest party ever. Everyone is in like a really bad mood. Um, but we're gonna make the best of a really sad situation. Uh, I kind of wanted Kiara to come out to the back. Oh, she wants to actually snag some of that zombie cake. She's been eyeing it for a hot second, and typically she's not a fan of frosting, but it just smells so good. Um, and it looks like we are. Oh. <laughs> I see what you did there. Can't earn money for 24 hours. Hey, we got to decline that. Um, Literally until tomorrow, like it's 6.30. Uh, but anyways, like I was saying, um, maybe we'll have Delaney come rise and shine. I'm going to have her come out here and make a classic orange pumpkin. And then I think I want to have maybe even a Gulliver wake up a little bit and then do the same thing. Um, I think Jada only has like one more or maybe two more traditions to complete. And then she'll be able to like have like a really awesome some holiday she wants to have that spooky that spooky spirit i was thinking of having some of the kids go trick-or-treating with the slice of life mod but i'm not like too perplexed if they do or they don't again we're just having people come over enjoy each other's company it's a very chill celebration um although i would say it would probably look a lot cooler if i had maybe some like really fun spooky like red lights or something oh that hurts my eyeballs you know what ditch it just ditch it I mean, it's fine we're just gonna stick with the right white white flower essence at this point because y'all I was starting to feel like I was like in like a, a nightclub or something which it's been a really long time for all of us hasn't it okay so hunger mm, probably gonna grab um, a cookie because I've been wanting to have one of those uh, Kiara is feeling really sad because I guess somebody died I don't know who passed passed away unfortunately um but i'm assuming and maybe her dad possibly not really sure okay so jade is getting another phone call blake is congratulating us <laughs> on the new addition of the family he's one of our baby daddies and i kind of want jada to also come out here that didn't count towards the tradition am i right for her to grab like a little grab a little treat how is it how's it going out here delaney let's see um so delaney is an astronaut um jada was a oh, oh my god i really thought for a second that was jada it's a blue bell that's pretty crazy i literally mixed them up because they've always kind of resembled each other but gulliver is getting down with his pumpkin and i think he's doing a really 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 good job um he is a little green like the stem not gonna lie and it is beautifully gorgeous here in willow creek also side note i'm using a brand new reshade. well not brand new reshade, but it's pretty new to me um i think it's by nexel i don't want to say it and i think it's called hold on, let me just pull this up real quick um chill breeze by by nexel nexel i don't know but this ish is like woo, it's a vibe y'all it's a vibe <laughs> it is literally one of my most favorite like presets ever um brace is coming into town i don't know what he is supposed to be with those uh turquoise looking leg warmers apparently the postman i'm not sure um our bills are five thousand some macaroos Woof, that's expensive and then we have uh who's this Who's this kid? Trick or treater? Oh, how cute! Okay, Kiara, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I think you're in the kitchen anyway. Am I right? Okay. Uh, wait, 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 you just you just walking into people's houses now? Is that what's happening? I mean, okay, just excuse yourself. I mean, I'm trying to. I want to. I want to. I wanted to give um slice of life study at school friendly introduction. I don't know. I guess I can't give him a treat. I have no idea. My game is literally like making me go like just loco at this point. Um, I'm pretty sure pumpkin should be done. 
and Bulliver did a fantastic job. I have not carved a pumpkin in a really long time. Um, well, I mean with my kids, sure, but not me, like, personally. Now, I'm trying to get it on the ground, but because I have freaking uh, cheats on, that doesn't look like that's going to happen. You know what? Put it right here. Why not? Put it right here next to the pot, and then that way we can go and take a little looky. I had a, oh, is there like a candle in there? I never really noticed these candles, the tea lights inside. <laughs> that's kind of funny. Um, maybe Jada can turn it on. I don't know. Let's see. Light the candle. Really? Are you sure that's always been there? Light the candle? That's always been a thing? I, I, I smell some BS. Uh, you know what? It's literally not the scent that's coming from all of us pits at this point. And our, uh, wait, spooky? Spoiled? How? We literally just, just made these. Like, that is the shortest shelf life I have ever seen and homegirl over here Eleanor okay who's an elderly has not made a single flipping thing not a damn thing all right let's make some uh lemonade because you know spooky day and lemonade just go hand in hand um and now she's playing with freaking clay <laughs> oh my god don't play with me girl you know what these uh spooky day cookies that you're not you know let me just show you how it's done all right because octo mom over here ain't playing no games man I'm, she, I'm over it. Let's go upstairs. Let's take care of the kids. You know what? Uh, Kiara, come and help. I, I don't know what I'm going to do without you. You're like the glue to this family. Um, I wanted to come over here and kind of help out a little bit. We'll bottle feed both the kids. And then um, let me see what Gulliver is up to these days. Uh, who's this? This Penelope? Oh, my God. Long time no see. And then we have Phoenix, who looks amazing. Um, after this, I think we need to have Gulliver come and use the bathroom. We're going to have him eat a little bit. Bet. both babies are up in arms um poor cherry is exhausted she just wants to hit the sack i did have her work though on some skills i know you guys didn't get to see that but uh <laughs> hello <laughs> yeah that's right i did that um i mean <laughs> granted she's gonna be aging in like three days anyway right okay four so we have a little more time we have a little more time um but i'm gonna have her go to sleep because she's exhausted she's not a fan of spooky day like literally she doesn't care uh apparently she can wear a freaking costume though i'm sorry you can't go to sleep until we can see a cute little toddler costume i don't care who you are it's just not gonna happen uh let me try this let me see wear a costume holiday helper tree fur tree fur what the hell's a tree fur i mean obviously now i've got to see this is she gonna be like a little <gasps> get the hell out of here <laughs> she looks so pissed she's like this wouldn't be my first choice mom but all right i mean it's fine um we're never gonna sleep anyway i just wanted to see her um i just wanted to see her 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 little costume i don't think i've ever dressed a toddler up and also not to mention now she gets to have a great you know spooky day how are all the kids other kids feeling about this honestly gulliver didn't get just dressed up well, we've got to fix that stat um i had a lot of fun with this spooky day it's been oh, he's gonna be a sausage is it gonna be a is it gonna be a is it gonna be a white sausage or, or a dark one <laughs> Oh my god! I it's a soggy dog, I swear. I think Pace Foreman was this for was he? I don't know. He was a soggy dog, right? I don't even think the dude was a freaking he wasn't even a hot dog. He was just like a soggy dog. Oh my god, it cracks me up. But that is not a sausage. That is the most disgusting sausage I've ever seen. And I've seen a lot of sausage. Anyways, you guys, I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode here. I know not a lot happened other than the fact that we had a very eventful spooky day, but oh wait! I want the did you guys just see that Zelini literally just got zapped? Oh, wait, just kidding. It's Vladia. We don't care. Anyways, speaking of non-eventful or eventful, I don't even know. Literally speaking in things into fruition right now. But um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, wrap up this episode here. I hope that you all enjoyed the chaos. And if you did, you know what to do, boo. Don't forget to go ahead, comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.